Good Monday morning, my friends. It is April 5, 2021, and it is a gorgeous sunny day. And all of these gigantic trees, I'm up here in my second story of my house, and so I'm up in all the treetops, and they're all just turning green right before my eyes. When I look at that, I see God. I see God. How does that tree know? How does that tree know to put those green leaves on itself? How does it know? How do the birds know to come back from where they flew away to? How do they know what kind of nest they're supposed to make? How do they know how to feed their babies? How does anything know anything? How can anybody on this planet think there is no God? I don't know. I just don't have that much faith. Are you ready for today's devotional and ready for me to hush? <laughs> Let me do something first. Let me do something first. My friend wants me to look in here again for that number. She said it's on the page after the page. Let me look. Because she wants to get the exact right same Bible. I'm looking, looking, looking. There's just not, my friend. I've got the copyright. Now, this is my newest Bible. I have lots of Bibles. I've got some really nice ones I keep downstairs. I've got a couple in my bedroom, one on my nightstand. But I had to get this one because we were going to church in Edmond there for a while, and I needed bigger letters. <laughs> my Bibles that I've had for years and years and years all have little letters. So I'm very sorry, my friend. But I just don't seem to be able to find what you want me to find. I'll hold this page up real close to the camera. And maybe you can see something I can't. Let's see what the devotional is today. I never look at them until I get right here in front of you. You know that, right? Jerry said, do you know what the devotional is today? I said, I have no idea. I said, if I was to look at it in advance... I'd be awake all night long thinking, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? What do I know about that? <laughs> Better that I just do it impromptu. So this one is called All the Way In. The scripture is Luke 9, 23. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Luke 9, 23. Jesus did not promise us that the Christian life would be easy. This is his no-holds-barred definition of what it means to follow him. You've got to be all the way in, or you're not in at all. Being a follower of Jesus means life is all about him. Loving him, obeying him, obeying him, obeying him, obeying him. Can I scream that to my family? Obeying him. <laughs> Ooh, living for him, learning more about him. Sure, sometimes life will be difficult because of the choice you made to follow him and the consequences that come from others because of that choice. Ooh, those are hard consequences too. That's okay. The benefits and joy of being Jesus' disciple outweighs all other circumstances. Can I tell you, y'all know my husband Jerry now. Somebody called him Brother Jerry. Somebody called him Pastor Jerry. <laughs> he was in the shower a minute ago, and I knocked on the door, and I said, Brother Jerry, I'm going upstairs to do the devotional. <laughs> he said, okay, Sister Joy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a sip of from my brand new cup of. Hey, let me say real quick before I forget, Judy Kessinger, Fit Nice Clinic. There's one tomorrow, just in case. That's a little reminder. Okay, back to Jesus and back to my wonderful brother, Jerry. A lot of you know, who've known me for a long time, that I have allergies, allergy issues out the wazoo. I don't have them all the time, and until we figure out what causes them, I don't know how we're going to fix I'm fine. I'm on nothing right now. No Benadryl, no antihistamine, no nothing. 
I'm fine all day long. But when I go to bed at night, it's like when I'm lying down, something says to my brain, okay, make her nose start running. Make her start sneezing like crazy. <laughs> so I'll take a couple Benadryl before I go to sleep while. Well, now this isn't always, it's just some nights, maybe one night a week, maybe one night in two weeks. It doesn't happen all the time. Usually I can sleep through the night. But last night I woke up at three o'clock. I've got the, the clock right next to my bed, you know, that has the red letters that shine in the dark. So I always know, I think, oh, it's three o'clock. Oh, I can't believe I'm awake. Achoo, 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 blah, blah, blah. And Jerry, of course, is asleep next to me. And so I will, if it won't stop, I'll get out of bed and I'll come out to the joy couch and I'll just lie on the joy couch and I'll take a couple more pills and I always make a cup of hot tea and I'll just drink my hot tea and, and hold my face and pray and pray and I just prayed and prayed and I was just praying last night. Four o'clock, Jerry walked up to me and he, I went, ah, kind of scared me at first. I said, oh honey, I'm so sorry I woke you up and he said, I came out to pray with you. You guys think I have a wonderful husband. You just have no idea. Our children have no idea what kind of man this is I'm married to. So he sat down on the couch and he held my hand and my leg. I was, you know, laying on the couch. He was sitting at my feet. And he prayed for me and he prayed for my healing and he prayed the healing scriptures. And we prayed for his knees and we prayed for his back. And then we prayed for the whole wide world and we prayed for the children. And we prayed for our government and we quoted scriptures. And he's just, I just kept saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, I am so, so, this, this is not the way he was when I first married him. We have both really, really grown. We have really grown in our relationship with the Lord since we've been married. We've been through a lot of things. We've come through a lot of things. No one can ever convince us, ever, 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 nothing you say, nothing you do will ever convince us that Jesus isn't alive and well and that we aren't going to go to heaven and there's not going to be a rapture and that there is a hell. Nothing can ever change our mind. So, you might as well quit trying. <laughs> We just know. He prayed for me, and I'm telling you, when you have these sinus issues, it's pressure, and it presses against the inside of your face, like right here in a triangle, and it just presses. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. And he prayed for me. He laid his hands on my face, and he prayed for me, and it just, it just opened up. It just opened up. I put my Kleenex down, and I said, Jerry, it's gone. I took a deep breath. I said, it's gone. Let's go back to bed. And we went back to bed about 5 o'clock and we slept until 9 this morning. <laughs> so why do I stare at him with adoring doe eyes? Because that's how much I love that man. <laughs> Gonna let you go, my friends. I've got to get to work because I've got new fabrics. I made a brand new video showing you some new stuff. And I've got another like hour and a half long video I've made and I've just got to watch it again and make sure I didn't leave my sneezing in there or whatever. <laughs> sometimes I'll say things and I'll say, oh, I didn't say that right. And so I'll say it again. And so sometimes I'll forget to take out the first one that was wrong. And you know, you know what I mean. Sometimes I mess up editing and so I always have to proof listen to it before I send it to y'all. So have a fabulous Monday. I'll be back tomorrow as always.